Hi everybody and welcome back to Veggie Cooking. Today we're going to be doing a recipe from the Engine 2 cookbook by Rick Esselson and we are going to be doing the terrific teriyaki tofu bowls which is on page 186. We recommend that you get this cookbook too because it's amazing and it's filled with recipes with no oil and no salt and we feel great after eating these recipes. So um, we recommend you try them too. So let's get started. We are going <laughs> to make the sauce first, but make sure... <laughs> That's our dog. <laughs> okay, so make sure you cook whatever type of rice you want in whatever you're gonna cook it in. <laughs> We've got an instant pot today. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> We got an instant pot today, and you also want to start steaming your broccoli. Now, yeah, we're gonna start steaming your broccoli in a second, but first let's make the sauce to go on the tofu. So, oh, also preheat your oven to 350. Okay, so we're gonna start off with, um, make sure you also toast your sesame seeds and you wanna toast three tablespoons of sesame seeds. So we're gonna add these in here. And you just dry toasted those, right? You didn't yeah, oil. no oil. And honestly, it, my mom thought, we, Chef Don thought we added oil because these release their own oil. So they, you, it's, yeah, just dry toasted them on the um, stove top. And then we want to add tamari sauce. Today we're just gonna be using liquid aminos and you wanna add five tablespoons of that. Liquid aminos is just a soy sauce without wheat. Five, okay. Now we're gonna be adding some maple syrup and we wanna add three tablespoons of maple syrup. One. So it's a salty sweet combo here. Great. Okay. After that, you're gonna wanna add tomato paste and we are adding one tablespoon of tomato paste. And if you do not have tomato paste, do not worry, just use ketchup. Okay. Could add some tanginess. Yep. And we're gonna add that right on in. Okay. Next, we're gonna add some ginger. Now we don't have fresh ginger today, so we're just gonna use some um, powdered ginger and you want two teaspoons of that. Not tablespoon, teaspoon of that. And that's how much fresh ginger you want. So we're just gonna use that measurement anyways for the powder or um, dry ginger. Not the biggest ginger fan, so I'm just gonna add. I mean, you could just do the one. Two. I'm just adding one teaspoon because I'm not the biggest ginger fan. Um, <laughs> Next, we're gonna add, oh, they don't have garlic in this recipe. We're adding garlic, cause that's just easy. Yeah, always add garlic. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna kind of, is that okay? And press down. Oh. And peel all the skin off. Oh, need a... There we go. So. Yeah. Press that, and then I'll give it a rough chop. You don't really need to once you press it. Oh, then let's press it right into the dressing. Yeah, do it. Let's do it. Press it in there. Bam. And I'm just kind of scrape it out with the back of my knife. There we go. So now I'm just going to mix all of that up. So now get a block of extra firm tofu. And this is high pro, oh, this is just extra firm tofu, super firm from Trader Joe's. Usually cut around the edge like this. And do this side and then drain it. Okay, so now I'm gonna go drain it. Cause it does have, and then we're gonna chop it into cubes. So we are, yeah, just gonna cut into half an inch cubes but it doesn't have to be perfect and i'm actually going to kind of do the onion method here oh, or not the onion method. where you like chop oh. it but not all the way down mm. 
So we're just gonna throw that right into our mixture. Here, put oh. this. Right there. We're just gonna put this right into our mixture because we want them to marinate. And typically you want them to marinate for a couple hours, but it's dinner time and we're on time crunch and I didn't realize we had to marinate it for like two hours multiple hours. So we are not going to be marinating them, marinating them for multiple hours. We're going to marinate them for just a couple minutes. Just so they get the flavor. Then we're going to bake these at 350 for 30 to 40 minutes. Okay. Now I'm just going to kind of toss these around. Line this with parchment paper. It helps these cook with no oil. So I'm just gonna kind of keep these on. Hopefully, I let them marinate for a long time. Or not time. Fine. And you don't want them touching because you want them to cook evenly, and if they're all crowded, they won't cook evenly, and they'll get them. Just, they won't, they, you just gotta make sure. I better taste one, just to make sure it's edible. Oh. Mm -hmm. Is it edible? No. Mm. I better eat it like that. So they are, they're, all right, so we'll meet you back here once we get yes. it. 30 to 40 minutes, everybody. Okay, so we've just taken the tofu out of the oven. Alexa, Alexa off. off. And um, as you can see, we took it out early because I'm too impatient and just want to eat. So we've got our sauce teriyaki, teriyaki mixture here. We're going to add in our broccoli. So we steamed it for 14 or 15 minutes. Mm -hmm. And an oyster steamer. So I'm just going to put that. I go ahead and toss it right in. Whoa. <laughs> that was tasty. One grab of rice. Before mm -hmm. we do that, we need to chop up some green onions. Oh, yeah. To garnish with. So that's what we're going to do. I'm just going to kind of chop the ends off here. We've got these green onions out of our garden. Yep. From our garden. All right. We've got our onion for garnishing. And then we are going to just toss all that in there. Uh, and I would toss it all in there. But I want that too. We're gonna add well, the rice in. Okay. We're gonna mix her up. Okay. So let's serve it up. We are going to get a nice teaspoonful. Make sure your hands are washed. Mmm, you guys, this looks so good. Get some of Here we go. Garnish with a little bit of green onion. All right, I'm so excited about this, you guys. Oh my goodness. Okay, before you eat it, I'm gonna take a picture. A beautiful picture. Okay. All right, let's try this. 
you like some? Mm -hmm. Me too. Okay, now I'm gonna try some. Get some tofu, rice, and broccoli. Mm. Mm. I know it says that I don't, don't like tofu. I just haven't had it cooked properly. Mm -hmm. This is so good. The homemade teriyaki sauce is amazing. Mm -hmm. mm. Mm. I recommend. <laughs> this is so good. Mm. And I'm gonna bring this for school lunch. School lunch, yeah. Tomorrow. That's exciting. Okay. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Make sure you like this video. Comment down below some different ideas for videos. Turn on the post notification bell so you get a notification every time we post a video. And thanks for watching. Bye, everybody. Bye.